BlackRock truly confirming crypto millionaires, you have to use discernment. So in today's video, I'm going to break down how BlackRock's narrative has changed or has it really changed the verbiage, the timeline. First, they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. So I'm going to break down how they resisted it, how they sue it, how they're regulating it right now, providing clarity, and they're all going to be joining it. And those, the small percentage of the population that watches these videos, are going to be some of the richest people in the world. Now, here's the key. In the process of becoming a millionaire, it's much more important than who you become in that process. So on the back end of this video, I'm going to address a question that one of our amazing warriors sent to us around my exit strategy. Okay, very important. I think the interpretation of what I'm saying is there's going to be a Bitcoin having in April which about 30 to 90 days after that, it's going to go parabolic. Now, I'm not saying I'm exiting at that point. I exit as things go up based on an exit strategy. So on the back end of this video, I'll explain it in detail how we do it and the tool that we're using to make sure that we're properly prepared to secure, compound, and grow. So we also have two free resources for you. Number one is a appointment with my licensed insurance agents. I have licensed insurance agents in all 50 states teaching you infinity banking concept, tax code 7702, how we secure our wealth with tier one capital and how we focus on tax-free income at the back end of our lives, right? So that's one thing um, it, you've seen like walk a flock of flame talk about it. it's getting very popular infinity, but there's many other things like annuities. There's many other products and services. It's about having a free conversation to make sure that you're set up for retirement, especially if you're planning on making a lot of money in crypto. It's about securing compound and growing. That's in the description of this video or in my social media platform. We set up a free consultation. We also have our free book, 16 page guide, the warrior's path to financial freedom. Okay, so that's in the description of this video or in my social media platform. Click the link. So let's dive into it today. So what I'm going to break down, is I'm going to show you two videos and I'm going to share with you how my mindset works around this. Again, this is not financial advice, but I've been sharing with you guys as you look this way. There's a whole nother narrative going on this way. But I want you to look at something. I want you to pay attention if you can see my I don't know if you guys can see my mouse here. But down here, it says Bloomberg Television six years ago. It says BlackRock CEO links cryptocurrencies to money laundering. Okay, so if you're an indoctrinated person, most people in our society, specifically in America, they watch a television, which tells them a vision, channels information into them, and they basically get programmed by that channel, right? So this is what they see. BlackRock CEO links cryptocurrencies to money laundering. So that's what they see, but they don't really listen to the words, right, of what he's saying. They've been saying for a long time that cryptocurrency is a pet rock, that cryptocurrency is used for money laundering, but... The underlying technology, which is blockchain technology, which people that don't have discernment or have done enough research don't understand that many of them are one in the same. For example, Ripple has blockchain technology that uses XRP, the currency. Stellar has blockchain technology that uses XLM as the bridge currency. Okay, So they get it convoluted, and then what they do is they package it all up in one package, and you get fudded out of it until it's too late, until your local bank says, hey, listen, cryptocurrency is good. It's safe now. Come on in. And it's a very speculative asset. So again, on the back of this video, I'll share with you why I set up my exit strategies the way that I do, because we actually realize profits, because we saw so many people from 2021 to 2022 go absolutely parabolic and then come collapsing down and lose 85% of their portfolio. So let's listen to this first video, but listen to the underlying message. Look at the title. BlackRock CEO links cryptocurrencies to money laundering. But listen to what he says, though. Have you developed a view on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? And, and, and what is BlackRock doing about them? Well, A, I believe in blockchains. We're looking at many blockchains. We created Provider Aladdin, which is really a, a blockchain between us and our, our the, the clients. We, but that's the underlying technology. And, but it's a private blockchain. Okay. okay, so very key. So Aladdin is connected to Coinbase. BlackRock is connected to Coinbase through Aladdin. So very important to understand. Okay, but that's we, we believe we, we create more and more uh, flow through information uh, by having all the different reference points of a, of a transaction being uh, systematized, that's good. Related to cryptocurrencies, um, I'm a big believer in the potential of what a, a, a cryptocurrency can do. Um, I, I, you see huge opportunities in it. But what we're talking about today, it's, it's really much more of a speculative uh, you know, people are speculating on it, 
But most importantly, what I think about most of these cryptocurrencies, it just identifies how much money laundering there is being done in the world, how much people are trying to move currencies from one place to another. So I actually believe uh, you, you're seeing the demand for it. But let's be clear. If we created a global, a true global digital currency, I hate the word crypto, a digitized currency, then everybody, had, then every, then you would not have money laundering anymore. You would have. That's the plan, guys. The very thing they tell you to look this way and tell you the cryptocurrency is a fraud used for money laundering is the very same technology they're going to use to track every single one of our expenses. Everything understood, everything would be flowing through, um, so everything would be identified. Like I, you could see all the application, except I'm horrified on one point. How do we preserve uh, the system from cyber problems? Because if the whole world is using this one network for financial transaction, it, pre it presents a lot of systemic risk. Is it time yet for BlackRock to either trade in digital assets or digital virtual currencies if you prefer or to create a product for your clients. We're not hearing we're not hearing any demand from any of our clients other than maybe some speculative stuff. We're, we're being asked that question, but it's more of a, like a venture capital type of uh, interchange. But we're not hearing clients and we want to use this as an asset class. Six years later, let's take a look. So we all hung on like a tick on a dog. And here we are six years later. Now, rightfully so, I haven't been in for six years. I got in in 2019. And so many of you have been in a lot longer than I have. And kudos to you for hanging on. Uh, some of you have been fudding in and out of the market. But six years later, let's listen to Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, connected to Coinbase through Aladdin, and us on the, on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum to move the mission and purpose forward. Yeah, we've got a stock rally and we've got a Bitcoin rally. At the moment, Bitcoin is higher by 5%, but it was much higher. You see that spike on the screen there? Take a look, take a look at around 9.30 a.m. Eastern. The cryptocurrency briefly jumped 10% after the crypto news outlet Cointelegraph incorrectly reported the SEC had approved the iShares Bitcoin spot ETF. Fox Business reporters reached out to BlackRock and were the first to debunk the report. So this is key. This is key when I'm going to talk about the back end. Do you see that spike with the fake news? That was fake news, guys. Look at that spike, a 10% jump. Imagine after the Bitcoin having a Bitcoin ETF, institutional adoption, what is going to happen? Do not miss these opportunities to get in at a very low cost. The outlet has since issued an apology, but what does BlackRock say about this and why there is so much eagerness for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Joining us now in his first interview since that strange story and the drama <laughs> around Bitcoin this morning is BlackRock Chair and CEO Larry Fink, along with Charlie Gasparino. What? When was the first you've heard about this rumor and, and what did you Actually, say? I was busy all day. I probably heard it an hour ago, so it wasn't... Yeah, well, it was, and, and we should point out Ellie Tourette, my producer, broke the story that it was not real. But it's like wishful thinking, <clears> isn't it? <throat> isn't this what this is all about? Well, I can't talk about the specifics of anything. I think it's just an example of the pent-up interest in crypto. And I very big, different narrative, right? He said there is no interest six years ago, and now there's pent up interest for crypto. And we are hearing from clients around the world about the need for crypto. I mean, when you think completely opposite of what he said six years ago, he said, eh, there's no need. Now they're hearing from his clients six years later, a completely different narrative. Think about, I think some of this rally is way beyond the rumor. I think the the rally today is about a flight to quality with all the. This is key. This is key. They're giving you the blueprint family. They're giving you the blueprint. You know, all the issues around the Israeli war now, um, global terrorism. And I think there's more people running into a flight to quality, whether that is in treasuries, gold or crypto, depending on how you think about it. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. Wow. What a flip in a narrative, guys. What a flip. Your financial advisors told you crypto's a fraud. They told you it's, it's, he's literally saying now it's a flight to safety. Guys, hold on like a tick on a dog and have an exit strategy. So let me explain. Okay. So I want to, we got a really awesome message uh, from one of the warriors. So let me explain what I mean. So this is, this is exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if it'll work for you, but we created a tool. I'm the co-founder of Merlin. So what we have is spreadsheets inside of our Academy. So what we, what we did is we realized profits. And so 
I was broke on my parents' couch in 2019 going into 2020 at my crypto portfolio, but I sought wise counsel and I diversified. So I have a cryptocurrency portfolio. I have leveraged life insurance. That's how I secure compound and grow my wealth and I can borrow and I'm building a trust thing right now to be in, in six months. I'll have everything set up where I'll have a family office and a family trust. I will have uh, my businesses. I have my businesses, which is how I increase my earned income every single quarter. Um, and then I take that earned income and continue to invest. We're heading into real estate. We're going to go vertical with it. We're going to create our 506Bs inside of our Warrior Academy. And then what else? Did I miss anything? Uh, precious metals, precious metals. So the reason why we've been so successful in the Warrior Academy is because of tools like this that we created. We actually launched Merlin. So let me explain. So Bitcoin happening is going to happen around April. If I get the date wrong, I apologize. Somewhere around March or April, right? So what that means is they reduce the supply that can be mined. So that creates uh, what the four year cycle creates a parabolic move. And it's, and I, I, I'm not a technical person, but I think it's anywhere from 30 to 90 days after. So everything's going to start going straight up in Bitcoin. And then those profits go into alternative coins, which we are heavily weighted in. And I do have cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, just so you guys know, I've been dollar cost avenue for a year now. So basically what I mean by I'm not saying that in 90 days I'm exiting my whole position. I'm holding most of my cryptos 50% long term for the rest of my life. 50% I'll be exiting with the ladder strategy, which you can set up inside of Merlin, guys. So this is down in the description of my video here. You can get it 30 days. So it's the smartest way to track your crypto. We don't hold your keys. It's not an investment. We don't. It's just a it's a display screen where we display all your cryptos in one place. So you always know your portfolio value. Okay. You create an exit strategy so you know when to sell. So as everybody's coming in, I'm exiting on the way up. For example, when XRP hits its all-time high of $3.70, I'll exit a little bit of my portfolio, maybe 5%. Okay. Then if it goes to $5, I'll exit another 10% of the 50%. Then if it goes to $10, and then I'll exit maybe 25% of that 50%. Does that make sense? So I'm exiting, but if it doesn't hit those targets, I'm holding, I'm holding the line, diamond hand, don't trip by the dip. Okay. So I hold, I exit as it goes up because what happens is when it gets to the peak and everybody's panicking, they go to the exchange to close it. The exchange is shut down, guys. You're not going to get your profits. Then you come sliding down the back end. Then you go into discontentment, frustration, and then you go into chaos, right? And it happens over and over again. So we study human behavior and cycles. We do the opposite of everybody else. So I'm not saying that I'm exiting fully in 90 days. I'm saying when things start to go parabolic, I have my strategy set up with Merlin so that I'll get an alert to exit at my targets. Then when I pull profits, I'm securing, compounding, and growing my wealth. So crypto is not my only strategy. It's a strategy with a very speculative asset, which is very best speculative right now without regulation. Okay, the regulation's coming. And I don't think we're going to have, after this four-year cycle, I don't think it's going to be the same type of parabolic moves four years later because of the lack of speculation. When it becomes more normalized, you use that, you lose that speculative part of it right the speculation is where you can make a lot of money but the problem is if you're not emotionally if you're emotionally attached to the market you will get wrecked because they use your emotions okay when that bitcoin etf gets approved and the bitcoin halving happens there's going to be a flood of people coming into cryptocurrency and i'm okay with missing 10 15 profit that you're trying to gain because i've already pulled maybe 30 percent profit and i'm putting it into something that will secure compound and grow and i will start borrowing against my assets to buy more assets okay it's the robert kiyosaki model the cash flow quadrant okay so here's a security thing with uh Vesco. we basically your, your coins are never at risk we don't hold your key, uh, keys or combos. There's API keys. And it's just a display screen, right? This is the most revolutionary thing right here is creating an exit strategy so you know when to sell. So all of you should have Merlin. I'm the co-founder of Merlin. So I don't uh, advertise any products that I'm not either owner or part of, right? So I have my Warrior Academy, my insurance team, which I'm the CEO of it. And then we have Merlin, which I'm the co-founder with uh, Johnny K, Johnny Crypto and our CFO as well. And we created a tool, 36 from the ground up, 36 thousand lines of code have been put into this to create the smartest way to track your crypto merlin so you track your crypto you set up your exit plans and then you exit on the way up and then you now you have opportunity cost of money and you figure out where you put that because this is about changing our family's timeline and creating freedom if you get three hundred thousand dollars don't go buy a ferrari and <laughs> buy an asset that will pay for the ferrari right you just have to flip your brain and if you don't rewire the foundation, you're going to end up in a different or same situation, excuse me. So we're all about rewiring the foundation to end up in a different situation. So in the description of this video, there's a free consultation with my insurance team. You have the free book. Uh, you can join the academy and you can uh, set up Merlin. It's 30 days for free. You can try it out before you buy it. And we made it very easy too because we run multiple companies. Uh, one of the things that we put in there is very, very easy 
to cancel. If you don't like it, we don't, we, we're all about mutual value exchange. You know how companies you have to jump through hoops online with the best customer service. You don't have to jump through hoops, guys. You can go on there and actually click a button and cancel yourselves instead of trying to reach out to customer service and go through a bunch of hoops to jump through. We want to make sure there's a mutual value exchange that puts pressure on us to provide a beautiful product so that our customers stay. So we love you guys. We appreciate you. Uh, we'd love to see you on the inside of Merlin, the smartest way to track your people. Get it set up now so you can practice getting your exit strategy and you can see your daily gains and losses. Love you guys. Appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.